Good afternoon. We're here in Roundway, which is a cul-de-sac situated off Kingfisher Drive, which in turn is situated off High Banks on the southern outskirts of Bolnor Village. And we're here to see number four, which is this rather lovely coach house apartment. Um, I'm desperate to show you inside because this flat uh, was originally built uh, by Cress Nicholson in 2006, or the lease is certainly from 2006, it may have been slightly later, uh, but a few years ago has pretty much been the subject of a, a almost complete refurbishment. Um, so rather lovely. Um, whilst we're outside, you've got a little uh, alleyway here, which uh, leads down to these few houses here on, on uh, High Bank. And those houses are the ones that own these other garages. Uh, these three garages would be all those houses. But this garage in particular is yours. So you've got a parking space in front and a big garage. They're enormous. And obviously, thankfully, because you're above, you've got power and uh, lighting in here. I've even seen a couple of people have put plumbing down here for uh, washing machines. And before I actually go inside, actually I won't walk all the way down there, but literally you can just about see along this end wall, you've got a door into a very big understairs cupboard, which is another handy storage space. So come and have a look. Uh, we've even got an entry buzzer on this one. I'm just gonna take my shoes off because this is an absolute show flat. But yeah, come upstairs, I can leave the door open. Now all the flooring's been done, the kitchen's been done, loads of bits and pieces have been done. Um, but in particular, what is really nice is the house, the, the, I say the house, it feels like a house because it's only you. It's almost like living in a detached flat, if there's such a thing. Uh, but all these internal doors, decoration, floor coverings you'll see in a minute. These are all travertine floors. Everything's been revamped. So it was all done by an interior designer a few years ago. You can just about see in some of this wallpaper, there are actually sparkly bits, lots of sparkly bits in these wallpapers. And as I said, all these floor, all the internal doors have been done. So come and have a look round. Great big entrance hall. That cupboard there, that's the boiler cupboard. That's got the boiler in there. This is a cupboard that I would really like in my house, a proper shoe cupboard. And obviously you've got a great big loft space with it above this flat. And we'll go round in order. So this is the main bedroom. Again, all been revamped, redecorated. Beautiful hardwood, dark oak floors. I think it's dark oak and a range of wardrobes have been put in here. You'll see we've got plantation shutters throughout. And then this one has the ensuite, ensuite shower room. Uh, it's not been completely refitted, but various things have been improved. So you've got a new uh, vanity unit and basin there. As you can see, mirrors around the walls and an oversized shower with the towel rail there. Next door, you've got the second bedroom, which is still a nice size double. As you can see, very much being used as the uh, the day room with a TV and a home office. Everyone wants that. Looking back out to the front. Across the way, you've got the family bathroom. But again, all been upgraded. So these lovely travertine floors come throughout. Again, new vanity unit, new bath panels. Whether this bath was replaced, I'm not sure. But again, the walls have been retiled with a mirror there and a dodgy estate agent. And then come through to the living area. This is where it gets really lovely. So this great big open plan space is really nice. The kitchen has all been redone in a modern range of um, high gloss units. You've got natural black granite, sparkly black granite worktops here and various built in appliances. The fridge, the big fridge is actually in a housing and that's not actually built in, but could be available, I'm sure. But again, extra lighting, you name it. I mean, this really is luxurious. I mean, if you want, if you're really looking for a little house, uh, this is as good as any little house. Obviously, it doesn't have its own garden, um, but you are detached. You've got no neighbours other than the garage underneath. If I look down to my left, these are the gardens of the houses in High Bank. And obviously, that's the matching coach house opposite. But a great setup. Now, uh, this one's leasehold. A lot of these uh, coach houses are actually freehold, which can be a little bit tricky at times with uh, mortgages. Although these are regarded as flats over garages when they are freehold, so they're not as difficult to get a mortgage for as a normal freehold flat but this is leasehold and it was a 125 year lease uh, from 2006 the ground rent is currently 150 pounds a year and the service charge is around 400 pounds every half year so it's about 850 pounds a year if this was one of the normal flats in Bolnor village you'll be paying probably around 1500 pounds give or take uh, for a normal uh, service charge and partly because this one is virtually maintenance free almost you've got your own entrance you're not paying for communal hallways and things like that so it's a little bit different and if you're thinking of uh, buying this as a rental investment 
a normal two bedroom flat in somewhere like Bolnor would probably rent out for uh, well now 950 to a thousand pounds a month. I would be very surprised if something like this didn't rent out for 1250 pounds a year. Oh, sorry, 1250 pounds a month. So it's giving you a pretty good uh, annual income of around 16,000 pounds a year. So a good return on your investment. And bear in mind, you've got lower than average service charges here. It's quite a good return on your investment. But there you go. That is number four, Roundway. It's a coach house apartment. It's all been revamped. Uh, it was all fitted out and prepared, designed by an interior designer. So it really is a high quality apartment. If it's the sort of thing that would interest you, please contact Manson McTaggart in Haywards Heath. And if you've got any feedback for our videos, uh, I'd love to hear them. Um, I'm conscious that I do waffle on too much. So please, please, I'm Jamie. Do ask for me if you've got any positive feedback or suggestions for these videos. Thanks very much for having a look.